Okay, this is how to load a tandem onto the carrier. So, I'm going to take this and you do it just the reverse for taking it off. You notice I have a parking brake there that will actually hold the bike. So you use this strap to take it off the same way here, although you can't reach it as far. So you just want to snug it up a little bit to get past the uh, lock there. That locks, and then it loosens up. Now I'm going to keep it here for uh, loading and open it up. And I'm going to take the front wheel off. Notice the bike is easier to handle when the brake is on. Now I'm going to take the brake off. It's just a lever up front and it releases the rear brake. I'm going to get the bike into position <coughs> a little better, but it's real easy to do. You just have to make also make sure that your pedals are parallel to the ground. So they don't smash the window of the car. Okay. Once you get one fork in, it's easy to get the other fork in. You just gotta do a little wiggle. And actually let go of the bike. Down. It's got a cam lock on it. There we go. And now, notice my pedals are parallel to the to the were parallel to the ground. Now they're just parallel to the bike. And since the back wheels lock really good, you just want to give it an extra little tug. You can actually pick it up by the back wheel, which is what I'm going to do. Up and over. And I think just make sure that that rotates around, locks into place, loosen it up, and lock the back wheel. Don't forget to lead, put the wheel in the car. Make sure that that's locked down. It's gonna wiggle a little bit. That's normal. <clears throat> and when you take the bike off, you just wanna make sure your pedals are again parallel and you'll do the reverse. You'll just undo this, take the wheel. Actually, when you undo this, you lock it right around here after you loosen this up because it'll keep the uh, front fork mount from locking back on you. So you want to snug it up in, in, a, in a loosened position. And then you just grab the rear wheel up and over, just like I did before. Drop it down. The, the rear wheel is locked, so it's really easy to come up here and handle the uh, unlock. And then just take the bike, lift it away from the car, tip it down, and have the front wheel on the ready. That's how to load and unload a tandem. <laughs>